We estimate this will sell for between $35,000 and $50,000. Day two of setting up for the sale. Here's the next round of tags we're gonna be putting down. And each tag has a picture, corresponding picture with it. So I'll just be tagging all these items. Like you see here, tag. Tag, 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 tag. Then over here, we've been using the label maker to price all these small items. High end perfume. These are pretty cool here, these little Hermes bar soap. Can be yours for just a dollar ninety five each. What's up guys? So we have been working for about five hours now on day number two and things are looking real good. So we've set up, set up a lot of stuff in here. This is our $15,000 Copenhagen set. Now we're getting the front entryway set up. And here is all the new stuff that we found. So we've, there was a closet that we hadn't gone into and it contained all of this stuff. Unbelievable. So we're gonna have to go through and price all that. That's your thing. Everybody has, everybody has their thing. This is the closet that it came out of, you see? Emptied all these shelves, this is where it all came from. Still even got some stuff left. Got some books. And found some jewelry. Gold diamonds, watches, pearls. Um, George Jensen, Fifth, Saks Fifth, more George Jensen, Jensen. Uh, and Silver. And setting up the garage. So here is where we're gonna have all of our like one to $10 items. And then this is where the cashier is gonna be. So it's kind of like at the store when they put all the candy next to the cash register to kind of tease you and get you to buy something at the end. That's exactly what we're doing right here. Uh, the idea is they go in the front door, so it's gonna be like a one-way street through the sale. You can't backtrack, like you can't go out the inn. And so they're gonna come in the front door, then they're gonna sneak through the house, and then at the end, they're gonna come in here in the garage, 
and they're going to be faced with this huge table of a bunch of knickknacks, all very, all priced to sell. And then they're going to check out at the very end and then out the garage door. What's up guys? We're here in the gorgeous Paradise Valley in, in Arizona. Uh, it's pretty hot outside, but we will show you an awesome piece of artwork, uh, which is at an amazing, amazing house. Um, so here is a piece of Ed Mel. It's a massive canvas. There's a print, a SketchUp that's sold. Um, that's the same, similar thing, a lot smaller, but just a sketch. Here is the exact painting. So a little bit about Ed Mel. He was born in uh, 42, 1942. He graduated the Art Center in Los Angeles and took a position in New York as well when he was younger. Ed Mel actually taught in the Hopi Reservation in 71 as well, mastering his craft. The paintings he has are similar shape like this with harsh lines on the, on the flowers. He does a lot of flowers and a lot of landscapes. There's actually a landscape photo as well, painting as well. Uh, majority of it's in painting or he actually, actually does sculptures both with it. You can see the Ed Mel signature right here, as well as there's an Ed Mel signature on the frame, the matching frame that has the same color. So remember, if you're out there, you'll be able to see the Ed Mel from the shape of the flower. This is pretty much his own shape. You don't see any other artist that has anything similar to this, but you the flowers. And he still has these lines that you see right here in his landscape photos as well. Roughly the same size or smaller ones as well as we'll show you in a second, but this is the Ed Mel. We estimate this will sell for between thirty-five and fifty thousand dollars. I have behind me two pages from the book entitled Les Delices de You et de l'Esprit ou Collection Generale des Diferentes Espèces de Coquillais que la Mer Renferme. My perfect French. So this was a book made by, written by G.P. Trotner back between 1764 and 1773. Now there were only in total between 500 and 800 of these books published ever. So each book had roughly around 120 of these hand colored pages and now it's unknown how many are left today. And this is why they're, they're so rare now and why they're so valuable. So each of these pieces we estimate is worth between $1,500 and $3,000. Um, we expect to get upper 2000s for them. Um, like I said, they are extremely rare and uh, pretty hard to come by these days. Day two of estate sale setup complete.